Hey yo YouTubers, Hammerman here again for another DIY dye project. In this video, we're going to repurpose a hoodie. This project started out of preparedness for PRZ's Battle of Berlin. After the crazy cold weather we were having at the start of the year, snowstorms, ice storms, wind storms, all of which had me thinking, I might want to dress warmer. First, I needed a cotton hoodie. After checking my usual sources, I settled on this O'Neill zip-up hoodie I bought for about $5. The outer layer is 100% cotton, while the inner layer is 100% polyester. A perfect garment for dyeing. But first, I need to remove this O'Neill logo. We'll just skip past that because it was terribly boring. The hoodie wasn't without imperfections, like this small hole or this stain. Now, I'm not a big fan of this color green, so the first step is stripping the color with bleach. Make sure to use as hot of water as possible, so bring a cauldron to boil. Don't boil the bleach in the stainless steel, it will eat through the metal. Here's the hoodie after bleaching, turned into a light beige. The lettering is still somewhat visible, but it will become hidden after we are done the dyeing. I soaked the hoodie for about 30 minutes in soda ash. This will help the hoodie retain the dye. Notice how the water is a bit murky. The soda ash pulls dirt right out of the fabric. Let the hoodie go from sopping wet to damp. And in the meantime, I've prepared a bucket of hot water and mixed up some tan colored dye. I add the hoodie without folding it because I want this tan to be my base color. Let it soak for about 30 minutes to an hour, moving it around every 10 minutes or so. And here's how it turned out. Now time to fold it and give it a pattern. I'm choosing to match it with my ASAT inspired camo pattern which is long vertical lines broken up with perpendicular elastics. Whenever the fabric is too loose, I poke it back into itself under an elastic for a small spider web appearance. Now, I add it to the brown dye, repeating the aforementioned process. The hoodie's pattern is starting to take shape. I refold it and mix up dark brown. I really liked it at this point, but needed to add black to make it pop. Black is one of the hardest dyes to control. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted it, but it's good enough for Woods Ball. And there you have it, a custom DIY dyed hoodie for your adventures in the field. Don't forget to like, share, sub, comment, donate, eat vegetables, brush your teeth, turn the lights out, wear sunscreen, and play paintball.